Hello everyone, my name is Laura and um, I'm a psychotherapist, an existential therapist and I study psychology and I'm a psychological artist and I provide therapy to people in New Jersey and around the world. And I like to talk about pop culture and things that arise in popularity in our world today. And I want to start a YouTube channel where we can begin the conversation on this. So there's a few big things happening in America right now. And obviously one of them is having Donald Trump for a president, which is a very strange experience if you live in America, trying to imagine how the world sees us. So that's one pop culture phenomenon that is weird. And um, my personal take on it is that America is a phenomenal country you know we looked at this world and said let's develop a place a, a utopia where all walks of life all colors all religions rich poor man woman can be together and coexist and share resources without fighting and in some ways america has been extremely successful in that regard and in in other ways we have some toxicity and poison to heal one of those being for example slavery so obviously that was a terrible time for to be a black american you know i mean we kept black people treated them like animals if they tried to get away we did things like cut their feet off and made them just servants for us like who the fuck did we think we were so I think America is healing and like when in order for something to heal things have to rise to the surface and become like a pimple to pop right so in my opinion like the ego becomes its most dysfunctional right before it dies and Donald Trump to me exemplifies that last gasp of ego breath right before it dies and he has to, he had to come up for America to sort of project onto him all of our dysfunction so that it can come up and heal and we can realize it and have a much more peaceful com country where these things can coexist again in a better, more advanced and evolved way because evolution only moves forward. It doesn't move backwards. It only goes in one direction. And therefore, Donald Trump is part of that evolution. So I see it as the ego of America kind of dying, the big pimple. And when it's over, we will heal. The other thing that's big is climate change, which I wanna talk about that maybe in another video. But what I really wanted to talk about today is house plants <laughs> and I see like you know everybody always had a few plants in their house maybe that you took care of probably like a philodendron or a pothos because they were unkillable right but now you see house plants becoming so popular they can get delivered to you they're super expensive they come in these amazing pots and I'm in and it's a millennial thing and I think that millennials are doing this because again this is pop culture why is this popular let me ask you that psychologically why are houseplants so popular I think of course it's because millennials live in such a high-tech world like for the first time in history we have technology in our hand at all times okay and um, that being said, which is an incredible thing, technology, we all love it. It all puts the world together. Now, though, there's less nature. And so I do think this ties into climate change because in order for the world to be healthy, we have to have plants. And technology gives rise to this deep yearning inside of a human being to have a craving for more nature. So I'm just gonna show you a few of my house plans, okay? Oh, I don't think I could turn the camera around. Let me see. No, all right, so I'll just flip it around so you can see just how many I have. I'll go in the mirror here. See, so I have, this is just my office, all right? So many house plants. There's my very rare Bentel Sensation Sansevieria snake plant, which is silver. It's beautiful compared to the ordinary one. I have a bamboo tree. 
Here are some other trees. And I'm about to take all of these le neon, lemon, lime, philodendron, pothos, whatever, and put them over my bed so that it feels like I'm sleeping in the woods. Why are houseplants so popular? Why do I even crave this? Because I love popular things, even though I'm 49. <laughs> um, but again, I think I, even I yearn for nature and crave for it because we're surrounded by so much technology all the time. So I want to create a YouTube channel where we can talk about the psychology of pop culture. And the two things that really came to mind for me today is Donald Trump being president, which is so fucking weird, and um, how this big thing in the news, which I can't watch because I'm working all day, but um, him getting impeached, and um, the popularity of houseplants. So um, other topics I'm going to cover, though, are psychologically rooted. So this is my first video for my YouTube channel, and um, hopefully I can get a more sophisticated camera as time goes on. And believe it or not, I've been thinking about doing this for a while, and it just so happened that I had two cancellations back to back for um, sessions where I do psychotherapy. And um, those two cancellations freed me up for two hours, and I thought, let me just do a practice run on a YouTube video with my phone. And so here I am. So I didn't really um, organize anything. As some of you might know, I used to be on a very popular radio show with Rev Bob Levy, who is a comedian. So um, it's not that I don't have experience being on air, so I do, but um, this was just off, I had been thinking about it, and this was just off the top of my head, so I want to talk about psychology and existentialism, mindfulness, meditation, and pop culture and what things are popular in our world and why. And so that was it. Donald Trump and houseplants today. Have a wonderful day and um, subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I'll have more time to make more videos because I think it's really fun. And if you ever want to do a YouTube video, don't let nothing stop you. You got an hour off, go ahead, try it. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.